We're here in Ross Aid Stadium following Penn State's 49-10 victory over the Purdue Boilermakers. Penn State now sits at 9-1 on the season. Avery was once again the Tyler Warren show for Penn State. Had 190 total yards for the Nittany Lions tonight. What did you kind of see from him and just the offense in general this entire game? I mean, I saw domination from Tyler Warren. I mean, when you look at him, he's doing it all over the field. He started the game playing at that kind of split fullback type of role, leaking out, making plays. I don't know how he goes uncovered every single time. It doesn't make sense to me. You see him in the backfield, you're supposed to cover him up. But they're not doing that. No one's doing it in the country, so clearly there's a reason. I mean, when we talked to Drew Shelton after the game, he said that when Tyler Warren is in the backfield, he can audibly hear the defense panic. He hears them freak out. So, I mean, I guess it makes sense. They don't know what's coming, clearly, even though film will show you what's coming. But, I mean, all – all around, Tyler Warren was all over the field. You look at the double pass, like he could have easily passed it again, I think that's legal, to uh, Khalil Dinkins for a touchdown, but he just took it, he ran. He had the other one like on the uh, power run, like Tyler Warren was all over the field. And then when you just look at the offense in general, the offense was fluid, the offense was creative. The first uh, half they out, out gained Purdue, what, by 100, maybe 200 yards. Purdue had probably 16. I think they had almost 200 yards. It was just an all-out dominant showing from the offense. So. Yeah, and you, you mentioned Drew Shelton saying that uh, – that Tyler, like he can hear and see the panic on the defense's face when Tyler Warren lines up in the backfield. And James Franklin kind of touched on it post game. You know, Tyler Warren can also throw the ball, and he's also an incredible blocker. So you know, honestly, Tyler Warren is just an amazing tight end. You know, we saw that today. And then also, you know, on the defensive side of the ball, deny Dennis Sutton back. Deny Dennis Sutton back in the starting lineup for Penn State had an immediate impact. A couple tackles for loss. Abdul Carter, you know, reaped the benefits of that of that as well. And Abdul Carter finally got a call on a hold, which um, I think Penn State had been waiting for for a while. But I mean, other Still than that, lot, um, yeah, yeah. Other than that, you know, a huge day for Penn State. They also had 68 players play according to James Franklin. And I think Avery, you said the travel roster is only 72. Yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so if that's I, only if my math is correct. You know. So that's only four guys not playing for Penn State. What did you see? From from the younger guys today? I mean, I saw plays. Like, they, they were making plays. I mean, Davion Collins played a lot. He played in the first half. He played in the second half. He made a couple plays. He almost had that pick. I thought he had it, but I guess he just hasn't doesn't have that, I guess, hand control. He's in the air. He's not that big. Like, it makes sense. But even looking at the defensive line, I mean, I looked at Caleb Artis, number 58. Like, he was – he's their power guy. Like, it was obvious. He bull rushed the guy, fell to his knees, got up, still made the pressure. I think he still got credited with the tackle for loss. Like, he was all over the field. I mean, looking at the offensive side of the ball, I mean, they tried to get Corey Smith going. Didn't do too much, but I also think that Purdue did watch the film last week. They saw what Corey Smith did, and it sprung open Bo Perbula for the long touchdown. Um, Tyser Denmark, they tried to get him involved. Um, I think it was was it Tyler Johnson that dropped the uh, Anthony Ivey. Oh, Anthony Ivy. He dropped the deep touchdown, but it was open. So I mean, he shows that he can get open. I mean, I think obviously he's young. So these young guys, they're going to get used to playing football, and it was good for them to get real game time reps. As James Franklin said after the game, he doesn't want them to get meaningless reps. He wants them to play real traditional football. And I think a lot of them showed a lot of glimpses of what to come in the future. Yeah, and Luke Reynolds also had his first career touchdown for Penn State. The true freshman's played in every game this season, but hasn't really gotten the ball that much. James Franklin kind of said that post game. It's obviously because you know Tyler Warren is also on the field, so you know <laughs> you're not, not gonna, you're not going to give the ball to Luke Reynolds when you know Tyler Warren is right there. But I mean, overall, just an absolute domination of Purdue um, by Penn State. They'll they'll travel. They're on the road again next week. They'll take on Minnesota. But yeah, just a just a big win for them. Something uh, they said post game. They're going to go back, look at the film, correcting the mistakes. But overall, they're I think they're all pleased. With with their performance and you know they're going home with a win so